Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA. Are you not going to do it this time, no? Andrew McGahan here for Severe MMA. <laughs> Excellent. Good work, good work. And uh, now we've got that out of the way. Uh, must, would you say it's a bit of a blessing in disguise that Boston thing never happened now? Yeah, I would. Uh, I, I would say it's a blessing in disguise that the, the split decision went against me and the ultimate fighter. That's definitely what I would say anyway. I, I'm much happier making my debut in, in Dublin rather than making my debut for the, in the Ultimate Fighter finale or in, in the final of the competition last week. That's what we were thinking, a bit of a speculation when we saw it was announced, was that if Cahill or Chris get to the final then that will rule them out as a Dublin yeah. thing, so this could be the best thing that happened in your career. Big time, that's yeah. the way I'm looking at it. I always take the positives from any situation and uh, that's the positive I'm taking from, from that. There was one thing that John said the other day that I think is actually going to be a very, very true quote. A rugby man yourself, with Brian O'Driscoll recently retiring, yourself and Connor potentially on the cusp of being the next generation of Irish superstars. Is that weighing on yet? I know you're coming from a rugby background, you're still friends with a lot of the guys in the team, but surely that's playing in your head a little bit. What is what playing like in my head? You are on the cusp of maybe becoming the face of a new generation of Irish sports stars and for future kids. Like. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's, yeah, that's on my mind, isn't it? Uh, it's actually something I've talked about before with the, with the other guys, and it's, it's always said that if you look at um, a country that wins the World Cup, so say uh, Germany just won, won the World Cup, in ten years or so, it's 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 always noted that they will have a phenomenal team, and it's usually because you know kids growing up, you're you're eleven, twelve, you're you're doing loads of different sports, but then you see a certain amount of success, so you see a player that you know really inspires you, and that will make them choose that sport. And then that that happens with a lot of kids when when a country wins the World Cup, and they all choose football instead of un, uh, something else, and then they end up having a really strong team in, in ten or twelve years' yeah. time. And I I 100% see that in in MMA now. I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. We've 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 got some phenomenal at athletes at the moment in, in MMA, but you look down the line, ten, twelve years, when the kids that are that are taking up the sport now as a whole at six, seven, eight years of age, they're going to be an amazing athletes. I wish I took it up at that age. I didn't start MMA until I was 19. Two quick things. I think it was actually your mental coach, David Mullins, who said uh, there's going to be a kid in the UFC at the O2 Arena this Saturday night who's never heard of MMA before. He's watching on television and he's going to become the UFC champion one day. It's going to be because of the Irish fighters. Um, you've worked with him for quite a while. You were away in tough. What was that experience like being cut off from everyone for six, seven weeks and not having anyone to talk to? Well, that, that was definitely the, the hardest part about the whole thing. And uh, we were talking earlier about taking the positives from, from every situation. And I'm looking back at the tough experience now. And it's, they literally put you in the most uncomfortable scenario and the most difficult scenario for, for a professional fo fighter. You know, I, I'm taken away from my friends and family. I'm taken away from my, my home and, and my usual place of training, my usual gym, my usual coaches and I don't have a, um, that support network I usually have around me. On top of that you're living, you're living with the people you're fighting and on top of that you 24-7 have, have cameras in your face and you're mic'd up 24-7 so it's literally the most uncomfortable s scenario you can have. So I'm looking at every fight I have now is easier than the scenario I was put in, in, in on the Ultimate Fighter. This is, this is easy. I've had cameras in my face all day and it doesn't phase me and it's like someone asked me that question does that does it bother you now that all this media attention and you know after tough you can't you can't have any more media attention than that 24 7 camera there so this, this is just easy do you think you need to put an exclamation mark on your fight this saturday night maybe a finish get more people talking it look it's set up for a car that's going to have a lot of finishes and i know the tko of chain mills was your first in a while are you hoping to keep that run going yeah i'm confident i'm going to take this guy out and i want to put a make a statement um, I've wanted to be in the UFC for a long time I felt I've belonged in the UFC I, I do belong in the UFC but I'm going to show everyone else why, why, uh, why I do and how, uh, how much better I am from the rest of these guys One final thing when you finally met Dana White that time and when you were going for tough when he said the name Cahill Pender did he think of all of the times he was hounded about people saying Cahill Pender should be in the UFC who was that guy that kept saying Cahill Pender all of this sort of thing did it click or did you ask him about it or yeah, did he say it? Dana White told me he knew he told, as soon as uh, I met him on, on the in the UFC gym, he told me he knew who I was, and he was, uh, you know, happy that I came 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 to the Ultimate Fighter Trials and did it, uh, did it. So, um, you know, he, he's well aware of who I am, and uh, I want to. That's an, that's another guy I want to impress on Saturday night. I want to go out there and uh, spectacularly finish my opponent and uh, impress Dana White. Excellent, Carl. We appreciate the time. Right. Best luck, Saturday. No worries, man.